You look comfortable in it. I am very comfortable. I'm laid back. I'm very chill. I'm relaxed. And you're where? This isn't from the collection, is it? It is. It is from the collection. <laughs> This Geo print looks so good and reminds me so much of the first hoodie that we ever dropped. That's exactly why we were inspired to bring the Geo print back. And if you notice, the embroidery is a lot cleaner than it's ever been before. So this all looks really, really good. Did you know that it's available now and always forever? It is? Yeah. Wow. Joe's just wearing Attack on Titan. Ben's done that. And I'm actually- what are, you, what are you wearing? You don't get to ask that question, Joe. <laughs> this is the first t-shirt I ever sold back in like, 2013. Oh, vintage. Vintage. This is uh, what they what they call vintage. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today at the 100 Thieves Compound to film a new episode of We Three Thieves. And I have JHB, former intern, now full-time employee, mm -hmm. the prince of 100 Thieves. It's not Envoy anymore. It's JHB. Oh, thank you. And then you have Joey K, the biggest streamer on Twitch. <laughs> uh, but uh, for those of you that don't know Joe, he's my assistant and uh, future content creator of the year, uh, probably in like 2027. But I figured this would be a good cast of characters for a brand new episode of We Three Thieves. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. Good, good, good. Uh, Why'd you look at me like that? I, was... I don't know, I don't know. My natural instinct is to just banter with you, no. but I gotta remember I should be nice in some of these things. Joe, do you know what Three Thieves is? Uh, Reddit questions that we answer. Well, it's Talk questions about. from anywhere, not just on Reddit. You can go in our Instagram comments, or YouTube comments, tweet at us. Reddit, absolutely. You can source these questions from anywhere. Oh, first question. Yeah. Did you know that you're wearing a brand new <laughs> Foundation 2022 summer, uh, spring uh, Anorak pullover right now? I did not. Where can I Why get this? Why don't you this? stand up real quick and just show it off one more time? I would love to. We might be able to just squeeze this into the beginning. You look good. You look good. Did you know that this is water resistant? Nothing's getting lost in there. Ooh, it can fit all types of things in there. And then, you got even zippers on the sides and the pockets. And oh, I can give, oh, oh, I can oh, give JSP, I can give JSP a, a reach around. Move those tables, do me a little model walk back and forth. Give us a show, JSB. You bet, and you better work. Shake some ass. It's like two uh, flapjacks flowing in the wind. Now, you gotta make eye contact to the, the camera. Yeah. Make love to the audience. Come on. <laughs> Well, JP, we're, we're supposed to be cool as well. well. This actually might be the definition of cool. You I mean, know, we are cool. Look at the apparel I'm wearing. And where, where, can, where can we find it? Say 100, 100thieves.com. Where can you find uh, it? I'm drawing a blank. Uh, JHB. Well, you guys can find it at 100thieves.com. It went on the, the, the. Uh. <laughs> That's right. good. I'm gonna sit down. That's the ad read. All right, question number one, gentlemen. Actually, I haven't trimmed up my fingernails either, so if you can zoom in on this. I'm kind of embarrassed by this as well. Qu Question number one. This comes from Defper Darkness. He asked, which content creator would you like to swap lives with for a day? I feel like Leslie. He's very energetic, very friendly. I just feel like it's a good position to be in. What about her lifestyle works for you? Her audience on like t her streams, they're insane, they're dedicated. I love, like, they just seem like a very nice, genuine audience. It just feels like a nice personality to be. Okay. And Leslie is a very, very nice person, so. True. I'd like to be nice for a day. Joe, how about you? I'm still mulling it over. <laughs> Yo, Joe, Joe, come on, brother. <laughs> Listen, if you're gonna step up for a video, Joey K, we're practicing for the stream. You gotta be quick quick to fire. Well, I was gonna say you, but then you're not happy all the time, you know? So. Me? Oh, never. <laughs> no, I'd no, probably... Not is it not all the time, it's say not 90. even some of the time. <laughs> yeah, maybe no, 90 I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm actually very happy. No, I'd probably swap with Wig. So you could be good at Apex? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Absorb that skill. Like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix when they like upload shit into his brain. <laughs> and he's shredded. Like yeah, I would, yeah. if, I, if I could swap places with Nicewig and I get to like jump into his skin and be him for a day, I'd just go picking shit up and putting it down <laughs> just to feel that type of <laughs> testosterone. And, Cause I've never had that once in my life. <laughs> yeah. If I could swap places with anybody, it'd probably be Valkyrie. Uh, just because I want to feel what it's like to be relevant again. I had a taste of it for like two years back in the day, Optic when I was competing. She has like a stand community. And yeah. I felt like my community, they were just the boys kicking it with me at the lunch table, but Ray's got rock star status. I mean, do you like having that chill lunch table type vibes? No, man. Or... You ever hear that riffraff? No. I'm gonna get rich and act like I don't know nobody. I don't know that. I'm just kidding, that's not what I would do. Uh, <laughs> I actually really do like you guys. Um, and I'm glad that you like me. Uh, but yeah, Valkyrie, she's in music videos. She's on magazine covers. It's pretty 
fucking awesome. I don't know. I think Ray has just done a phenomenal job. It'd be cool to just like sit in her shoes. She was streaming for like five years without an audience. I don't know. That sense of humility would be good for me nowadays since I'm an egotistical maniac. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Joe's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, XQC. So his audience just follows him everywhere, no matter what game it is. Mm -hmm. I just think that's really interesting. XQC stays over like 60K viewers, like no matter what he's doing. So it's just all about the views for you? I mean, yes, but also. <laughs> I do Timmy. So you're just bouncing around. Nice week to Timmy. <laughs> well, uh, if we're gonna be, if we're gonna keep riffing on the whole Keanu Reeves thing, literally, I just want to be the best aimer. Like, I want to be a robot and automatic. Like, <laughs> that would be I'm sick. hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, if you'll excuse me, I need to run to the bathroom real quick. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> what are you? I don't understand that reference. You gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, no, good no. thing this had no, uh, oh. No sponsor. <laughs> no sponsor on this one. Joseph Bennett, he asked, if you could pick one game to play against every member of 100 Thieves, what are you picking to guarantee the W for yourself against the most members? Modern Warfare 2, Rust, 1v1. <laughs> uh, hello? Brother, you never watched my MW2 sniper montages? <laughs> you are getting cooked. <laughs> We're talking about the most members, so yeah, maybe you'd beat me, but like, going against Courage, going against... I think Jack would have you bad as well. You think he would? Jack's a gamer. Like, Jack actually doesn't get credit. He's pretty good at a lot of games he plays. And MW2 was like his game that he uh, played with his boys 24-7. I thought you might pick something a little bit more obscure. I don't know, I, I, could, I could only just think of Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Not You're still pretty young though, so it's yeah. not an easy question for you to answer. To give myself the best chance, I'd love to say Valorant, but I don't know, man. That's just too many variables at play. I'd say Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Call of Duty Ghosts or Advanced Warfare because, nah, I'd go Ghosts just because Advanced Warfare, some of these kids on the LA Thieves team might be able to take me just because of the movement system, but I was going to say the movement system is probably what's going to get me to W against all of our creators. That makes sense. Is that, is that Advanced Warfare, the jetpacks? Yeah. The fact that you even had to check that with me is <laughs> kind, of, kind of concerning. It's called Advanced Warfare. <laughs> well, what, isn't there Infinite Warfare too? Yeah, that's the worst Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would say uh, Madden NFL 20. I'd beat every single person here. You know now that you and I have to play that game because we can actually go and play that. Oh, 100%. We're doing it. In college, all I did, I mean, I didn't go to class that much senior year, so all we did was just play Madden 20 nonstop every day. Right. I'm only saying this with so much confidence because not often do I get to <laughs> talk about a game where I <laughs> have a chance at beating Matt. So, uh, but my team, Minnesota Vikings. Dalvin Cook has this juke move. It's like quicker than anyone else's. Madden 2004, I'd cook your shit though. If you set it up, it's kind of like my older brother. Like, if you set it up, I'll, I'll play. Okay. So if you get it all set up, I'll play. Okay. We can stream it too. Do you guys have any uh, non-FPS games, like Mario Kart or anything like that, that you, you're confident about? At the Optic House, back in the day, when we'd be done scrimming, all we'd do is smoke a bunch of stinky weed and uh, play Mario Kart. <laughs> and Big Timer was the only one that would get close to me. Mm -hmm. 50 CC, 100, then 150 CC. Then they added 200 CC out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I haven't practiced this, and it was really hard. Mm -hmm. 150 CC Mario Kart, I don't think there's one person that, even at the compound that could beat me. Not even mm -hmm. the creators and players, the employees. Too. I think I play as Shiny Mario. I always put on Luigi. I don't know why. You kind of look like Luigi. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> I used to play, I'm terrible at Mario Kart, but like the, the little mushroom guy. Toad, dude. Little baby. Yeah, Toad. It's my guy. <laughs> dude, kind of. Mushroom. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Toad. Okay, this guy's username is COVID. <laughs> And he said, what would your last meal be? It's what? legitimately COVID asking. Why is COVID <laughs> asking what my last meal would be? Because COVID's back in LA. Hello, my name is COVID McCallahan. <laughs> <laughs> what would your last meal be? How many entrees are we talking? Let's keep it short. You get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Appetizer, calamari. Medium rare ribeye with mashed potatoes and french fries. Ooh. And for dessert, lemon ice. It's like sorbet, but... I know what lemon ice is. Okay. Yeah. Respect that. Let me guess. No. I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know. A chipotle. You don't have to say that. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> A perfect chipotle bowl. I actually would probably eat for one of my meals. I make my appetizer. Probably just the the most plain order ever of just like you got the cheeseburgers, you got the fries, okay. mashed potatoes with gravy, you got uh, chicken nuggets. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, maybe some peas, maybe some other chicken stuff. You gotta lock something in, brother. Cheeseburger, fries, 
Nuggets. <laughs> Good old American answer. I respect that. And and some uh, fried chicken. All right. I respect that. Thank you. Appetizer, I'm going with a nice warm soft pretzel. Oh. I don't know where we're getting it from, but I'm making it my appetizer. All right. For dinner, I'm doing. See, it's, uh, see, it's hard. For dinner, my mom, when I was younger, used to make uh, homemade fried chicken and mashed potatoes. She's not around anymore, obviously. And we don't have, I don't know how she made them. And I wish I could just have that one last time because I remember it being so unbelievably good as a kid. It was just, it was phenomenal. So I do that. And then for dessert, I had a piece of lemon cheesecake from a restaurant in Dallas, Texas, like three weeks ago. And it was probably the greatest culinary experience I've ever had in my entire life. If I were rich enough, and hated the environment enough, <laughs> I'd fly in a jet like once a week just to go get that cheesecake. <laughs> or I'd send you. So yeah, I'd do that. Soft pretzels, fried chicken and mashed potatoes, lemon cheesecake, Oof, blocking I it. I like that. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Question number four comes from Mark Tolly. What were your, and be brutally honest here, put that in parentheses, what were your first impressions of each other? Oh, this is actually a great oh, one. Oh, no. This is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Why did you stop? Go ahead, James. <laughs> Optic Nade shot, am I right? What a guy. Um, <laughs> you know, I knew who he was. Uh, once 100T came around, I had a few friends. You may know them as the mob they joined. They seemed like a very energetic crew. That's how they met this guy. And then that's how I became aware of who you were. Wait, was that pod, the clip of you guys talking on the podcast? Was that your first time meeting him? When you came over and talked oh, to him yeah. on the mic? Yeah, that was my first time talking to you. <laughs> so you walked in that room and you sat down on the other side of the table just on your phone. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, damn, I'm the only one in the same room as Nature. You know, this is kind of cool. Wanted to make a tweet about it, but I had a feeling you'd see, you'd see it. But yeah, and actually Mark was there too, so. Hey, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Look, it was pretty terrifying, I'll be honest. You were intimidated? I was very intimidated, and you know that. You All sat right. down with me on TBH, you made fun of me for not wearing deodorant. We did. We had a big conversation. I feel like that's a fair thing to make fun of somebody. No, it is. And I'm I, not going to shy away from it. No, it is. I, I deserve You're it, stinky. to be honest. You gotta know. Joe, even cooler. I love oh, him. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All good. I mean, I don't wear t-shirts with my own name on them, you know, so I'm not that cool, but... You're just wearing a hoodie that you got for absolutely free. <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't think you're the type of person that would judge somebody. Thank you. Like, you just don't seem like a very judgmental individual. Thank you. Sometimes I can be that way. I mean, I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the first time I met Joe, seemed like a very nice guy. I mean, I'm obviously good friends with him now. I hope. Oh, good, oh, friends? good friends? I hope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> You're doing great. All right, JHB uh, has completed question number four. Go ahead, Joe. I knew who you were, because TBH with JHB was my favorite. Thank you. 100 Thieves owned and operated content before I started. I was Besides like, this me three thieves. I was like, this is hilarious. Let's go, Joe. So. Not this show. Anyways. Um, two Joes, one room. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. What were you going to say, Joe? I was going to say two Joes, one cup. If just, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so working on my filter for the camera, you know, I don't know what Don't I, need one today. No, you gotta just let it rip. That's the power of editing. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Um, <laughs> back, uh, back to the script here. <laughs> Stick to the point. <laughs> yes. No, first impression of JHB, I was just excited to meet you. Seemed Thank like you. a nice kid. I was like, hey, great to meet you. Do you want to tell it from your perspective? <laughs> I can. My first time meeting JHB, I was worried. Uh, we were the only ones in that room, and I didn't know a damn thing about you. I showed up to the mob's house, and you were just there. Well, I mean, I was working. So. I didn't know you were their editor. I just thought you were like this random kid that was squatting in their place. But you seemed like a normal kid. Until you walked over and leaned into the mic and like breathed on me. Well, <laughs> but I didn't even know that what like your bit was. Like I didn't know that that was your sense of humor. So I thought you were just weird. Wow. <laughs> First time I met Joe was uh, an ordeal just because he was working with my girlfriend's boss. <laughs> Joe was his assistant. Haley ended up getting a job with him while we were at a party and I joked around like, oh, you're trying to hire people, right, Kai? Look at Haley. And she's been crushing there um, and doing a phenomenal job. I already knew Kai, her boss, pretty well. And so they had a day where they were working at the house. And so I'm like, all right, cool. I gotta go chop it up, say hi to Haley and say hi to Kai and say hello to you. When I first met Joe, he made me so uncomfortable with how nice he was being. <laughs> like, here's this kid who's like 6'3". And I could probably like around with him a little bit, banter back and forth, which is what our entire relationship is now. 
but you were just awkward. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I mean, I'm pretty awkward, but you were really, 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 really awkward and <laughs> way too nice. And I honestly didn't know what to think. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go back upstairs and get away from this kid because he's freaking me out. But you know, and that's <laughs> up. It's <laughs> up that I thought someone that was being so nice, that was weird to me. They feel like not authentic. Exactly. Yeah. There's no way anybody's that nice all the time. You're yeah. freaking me out. But then I know guys like Sam Keen, who's he just nice all the time that's just who he is yeah so that's why i was say to jhb i gotta stop judging a book by its cover but i'm glad that i did judge a book by its cover because i was pleasantly surprised with the human that you were now i'm curious <laughs> what your perception of that meetup was so i get a call from kai he's like yeah we're going to the content house we're gonna work from there go order a bunch of wascala like pasta as like a thank you to you guys right and so I really discovered you like over quarantine when I really got into Twitch and COD and everything. You're eating Chipotle. I'm like, this guy's pretty funny, you know? <laughs> like, so I basically go into like LA and this day knowing who you are, but not actually knowing anything about you. So I'm like, oh shit, like this is kind of a big deal. I've heard a lot about you from Haley. Like she's always gassing her boyfriend up, right? As most couples do. All right, Haley. So yeah. I'm like, all right, this guy's kind of a big deal. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I knew nothing about you whatsoever. So like you walk in, you got your blonde hair and walks this guy who, mind you, looks pretty pissed. <laughs> Whatever reason. I was, look, do I? Yeah, I guess default. <laughs> yeah. You were fine. No, yeah, oh, you were, I, I got you were nice. Interrupting you. I'm sorry. No, you were nice, but I was like, I'm like, okay. I have like no idea what to say. So it gets to the point where we're in the house and you're sitting on the couch. And I'm like standing over the couch. I'm like, what the f do I say to this guy right now? <laughs> like, it's kind of a big deal for me. Like first meeting you. I'm like, oh, so like you know Devin Booker. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I do. Like. <laughs> Cool, cool. Like Michigan guy. <laughs> He's from Grand Rapids. And then, uh, what am I doing? So I just went through my trash out, went back outside, and, and that was it. Yeah, so you thought I was a mean guy. No, I think you were a mean guy. Because you told the story I thought, like, you didn't how want, we met, but you, I meant, I meant you didn't that, give me first impressions. Oh, I meant that in the context. I thought you were weird. I meant that in the context <laughs> of like, oh, I'm like, oh, this man. guy doesn't want to be bothered right now. I feel like you deal with enough People that like talk too much, they come up to you like, oh, like, Matt, like, great to meet you, like, all that. That's why I was worried of approaching you, because, you know, you're an important businessman, you got a lot going on. Oh, I, I'm trying, I'm starting to learn that I can be somewhat intimidating. This is cool. <laughs> That's a good thing, yeah. Do you still think you can tell when I don't want to be bothered? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think so. I, I just know, like the me. idea of you going outside and going, why the f did I say Devin Booker? <laughs> 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 yeah. I was like, I was like, that's stupid. But I'm just gonna go back yeah, to that's work. Straight out of the <laughs> sitcom, to be honest. I'm going back to my environment. Devin Booker. <laughs> Devin fucking Booker. What am I thinking? <laughs> Sad Boy Sensei, oh my God, he watches anime and he's sad. He's hitting all the bullet points for me. Would you rather lose all the money you earned this year or lose all the memories you've made this year? That's a very deep question. Sad Boy Sensei is sad. That, he's thinking about a lot deep. of it. <laughs> lose, lose all the money, lose all the money. I got a car, I'm happy with it. That's a good memory for me. That's one of the main things that makes me happy about this year. I'd like to make a funny answer, but I don't think you don't think Sad Boy Sensei would appreciate it? I don't it. think the internet would appreciate it. I mean, listen, money comes and goes, but memories are the only things that you really have to look back on in your life and prove that you were wealthy. What I've learned as I've gotten older, that wasn't very important to me when I was younger, and now I realize it's the only thing that really matters. So I would definitely lose all the money that I've had this year if it meant that I had to lose the memories that I made with all the people that mattered. Some things that I'll never forget and I couldn't bear waking up the next day. I mean, I guess I wouldn't know if I lost those memories, so f it. But yeah, I would, I, I would have to go with lose the money and uh, short-term pain for long-term happiness. Ooh, that's a poster. We're so, we gotta sell that shit. All right, well, let me ask you this though. Yeah. Say you earned $750,000 already this year. Actually, I'll top it up to a million, a okay. million dollars. So I'm 19, Dude, what, what is better for you? Should I buy a house or an apartment? <laughs> and I'm fine with it being like, uh, obviously not that expensive, but like, Decent. Well, you, nowhere in LA are you buying a house. But imagine though. Imagine what? <laughs> I don't know. Imagine you had more money or imagine there was a house that you wanted to live in that was under a million dollars. You're not gonna spend all that million on a house. It okay. just, then you won't be able to pay property taxes. You're 19 years old. I'm not trying to hijack this from you. Yes. But I'll talk you through it and then you can react. You would absolutely, I would 100% advise you to rent an apartment. It's, it's a lot of stress, honestly. Home ownership is not easy, aside from the fact that you have to pay for it. That makes sense. Um, and renting is pretty carefree. You can come and go. Just gotta make sure you pay on time and no issues. Yeah, I just heard a million and kind of just jumped 
the uh, thing. Brother, a couple grand a, a month, get a great place, be living in a happening place in LA. I'd say apartment, uh, something to do with stocks. Wait, 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 wait. wait. wait what? How did we get to the point where you're spending all this money right now? We were just Is asking if you take the money. Oh, yeah, I would obviously take the money. So I you lose I, all I, your memories for a million dollars. Wait, is that? I thought you were just talking about if you, we had a million dollars, what would we do with it? <laughs> That's how you got here? <laughs> That's what you said. No, I said if I gave you a million dollars, yeah. Would your answer change from the original question? Oh, I didn't question? hear would your answer change. I didn't change. say all that, but I thought that's what was assumed. Mm -hmm. My fault. Yeah, I'd, I'd take the money. It's only five months. Turn up. All right. Turn up. JHB's in for the money. How about you, Joe? I am. <laughs> I didn't know what to answer. Views, money. <laughs> Little shallow guy, 100 thieves. My God. No, my answer would not change because our friendship is worth at least 1.5. <laughs> Come on, man. That's so cat, bro. You'd be walking out of here with that money already spent, dude. You'd be back at Greek Town in Michigan just fing running. I'd be on the down. blackjack table, it'd be gone in like 45 minutes. Yeah, and so not only have you lost a million dollars, but all your memories too, you're basically washed for the year. That's a that's a good question though, Sad Boy Sensei. I'd be curious what other people would say. Thank you guys for listening to uh hopefully what is coherent answers, but a lot of it felt incoherent throughout the entirety of this show. If you guys want to see more of of Joey K, Joey K, and JHB and myself together, let us know because whenever I watch YouTube videos now uh, with the ladies of 100 Thieves and a couple other mixtures of casts, they're like, man, why are these videos so much better than they used to be? Like, I want this to be the cast permanently. I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks guys. It's really great for my self esteem. But uh, no, this was a lot of fun. I haven't been here in a while and uh, really enjoyed our time. If you guys want to see more We Three Thieves, you guys got to, I don't want to be like the 2016 YouTuber. You got to hit the like button and then maybe leave a comment. And if there's any questions that we think are compelling enough to answer, we will throw a screenshot in and uh, welcome you to the show. Joe, you got anything else to share with us? Hopefully I still have a job after we leave this room. Guys, thank you so much <laughs> for watching. Appreciate you being here on YouTube. We'll see you a bunch of later. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna cut this whole thing. Just cut the honestly. Yeah. Just cut the whole story. Just cut the whole story. I yeah okay. We're cutting anything. That. Yeah, you're I, you, you're new. You're a rookie in the videos. We're cutting that. Cut, just cut, cut the whole thing. Okay. Cutting it. It's cut. gone. Thank you. Uh, uh, Except for Joe's, I'm putting that on TikTok. Uh, Verbatim. <laughs>